Um, so we're going to go with our next color, and our next color's name is Gail. So let's bring Gail to the show. Hey, Gail. Hi. I'm doing Hi. fantastic. What can we help you with today? I have a an age-old situation, and that is I have a hemangioma on my liver, which is sort of like a birthmark on my liver. And okay. I've noticed the longer I've been on this in this life that I hold a lot of angst there. And I've been told, you know, I've recently started to get some energetic healings from people. And what they've told me as they've started is that the prevailing emotion they get is existential terror that has to do with some past life issues. Okay. And I don't know if it does or doesn't, but I'm going to throw that out there, that that's one area that I am always conscious that my tension and fear reside there. Okay, let's let's have a look. Let's have a look. What problem do we need to work on within Gail, please? Let's see where we need to start. And the problem is, okay, within her liver is... In her liver is is the okay okay within the liver within Gail's liver is is. Okay. What we're going to remove out is a consciousness out of your liver. Okay? Now, within Gail's liver, the consciousness of Drunvelo my Kiesel deck. False. Say what? Say what? <laughs> this is a consciousness of Drunvelo Melchizedek. deck. Drunvelo Melchizedek. deck. That's the guy. Consciousness of Drunvelo. Melchizedek, false. Okay, that consciousness is lifting. I hope I got the name right. I don't know if I did or not. Um, let me know if your liver starts to feel a little lighter right away, okay? Okay. What What is next for Gail? And next. I'm getting some bubbling. Okay, next is... Okay, ET is within her. Now we're going to remove out some extraterrestrials out of your liver. Within Gail's liver, all ET false. Cut all cords, connections, cast out all extraterrestrials, reptilian, grays, or otherwise from the liver. Send them to ether, please. Gail's liver, ET false. Oh, E.T. Okay, they are lifting. How does that liver feel now, dear? It's, you know, it's, it's not done being tense. There's still okay, some, let's, some tension there, but yeah. Let's, let's go a little further. What is causing congestion within Gail's liver? What is causing congestion within the liver? So bear with me one minute while I find this answer. I'm going the long way this time. I got about six different ways to use these charts to find the answer. And sometimes, depending on the person and the issue, we need to use one specific way. Okay, now, within the liver, what is causing congestion? Okay, so we're going to call it a polyp. We're going to remove polyps off of your liver. Okay, within Gail's liver, all polyps, false. In the liver, any and all polyps, false. So whatever mark, whatever lesion, polyp, whatever it is, is now disappearing off of your liver. 
Gale's liver, all polyps, all lesions, false. Okay, there's quite a bit of energy there. The longer it takes, the more energy there is of it. There is a tingling. That's what we're looking for. In the liver, polyps, false. All polyps, false. There we go. That's now lifting. How is that feeling now? Not without congestion, but there was definitely some tingling and some lightning. That's what we're looking Okay, perfect. The, the tingling means the energy is in there doing something. When you feel lighter, that means that that energy has been lifted. So the heavy energies have been lifted off. Let's check the liver again, all right? Okay, what is causing congestion within Gail's liver? What is causing congestion within the liver? Now, the liver is a very important organ within your body. If anything in your body isn't working well, your liver will take over. And it will, uh, it will do many, many different jobs. So that organ has to be working at a very high level so that you can be healthy. Okay, now, what is causing congestion within Gail's liver? Okay, now, what th this is kind of painting a little bit of a picture. The answer I found is called an unauthorized stargate. So if we found an extraterrestrial in there, how is that extraterrestrial getting in there? It's through a stargate. So we're going to close off all stargates out of your liver, okay? Okay. Here we go. Well, then Gail's liver, stargates, false. Gale's liver, all stargates, portals and wormholes, falls, completely collapse. All stargates, all portals and all wormholes. Okay, those are lifting and leaving. So now the, the words that I'm using are, are very important. What I'm doing is I'm using the, if I want to get rid of something, I say the word false. It means it doesn't exist. If I want to add something to your liver, I would say the word true. When you say the word true, that connects the liver to its highest possible vibration, connects it up with source energy, and will raise the energy of it. Let's check one more, one more. I don't know what if is, it would help you, but when I get healings, typically, even if I start going in pretty calm, as they start to work from my feet up, the liver often will clench as though it's trying to protect something that they're trying to heal. Right, because and and that's the liver. extra yeah that is the extraterrestrial that is in there. He's trying to protect himself from from being found. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so if you go if you go in a certain way to identify things, then it's it's a it's a much more uh, easy process to, to to find it and get rid of it. Um, mm -hmm. you, you have to know that that working in this in this area, there's a lot of unknowns as to exactly what it is. Now, is there an actual alien sitting in your liver? It's more so the 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 energy and consciousness of it that is there um, on, on certain levels. So, if you do things a certain way, things just systematically leave out of your body without any kind of interference, without any kind of backlash. Uh, a lot of people will will have what's called a healing crisis when they do energy work that's because the, the wrong thing was done at the wrong time and it, it caused mm -hmm. a, a certain crash of it's like a house of cards coming down within your body let's say that's that's what causes the healing crisis within my system the healing crisis might last for for an hour or so where you feel very tired but then right away you come back but so so that's the good thing with the system of identification is, is that we do things systematically everything goes very smoothly I want to check one more thing with your liver. What is causing congestion within Gail's liver, please? Oh, 
Okay, so this is telling me that the liver is now cleared out. So okay. what we're going to do now... Oh, hold on, it wants to move, it wants to move. There we go, okay. I always give my pendulum a little bit of time because sometimes it finds an answer and it says, oh, wait a minute, I think I just found something and that's just what happened. What is mm -hmm. causing congestion in Gail's liver? Okay, so uh, this is very, very plausible. It's telling me that there is trans fat buildup. So you, you have a bit of a fatty liver. Okay, okay, which is, yeah, everybody's got a fatty liver. All right, let's reduce the amount of fat around the liver. Okay, all excess fat within and around Gail's liver, false. Reduce the amount of fat within and around Gale's liver to acceptable functional levels. We still need some fat around the liver. We don't want to get rid of all of it. The fat within and around Gale's liver reduced to acceptable functional levels. Okay, so now the liver is going to start to reduce its, its amount of fat. So the, the, the intent I'm using, I'm using very clear language so that the right a action happens with, within the liver, okay? Now, now we're going we're gonna to take the liver, we're going to say the word true, and your liver is going to start to function at a much higher level, okay? Okay. Okay, Gail's liver, true. Gail's liver, function and health, true. Gail's liver, function, and health, true. There we go. So, how is that feeling now, Gail? I think some of the tension I feel is so historical, it's hard maybe for me to sense uh, living without it. So, it's sort of okay. like a phantom pain. So I think right. I still have some of it here, but I know that there was there was definitely some burbling, or that's what I'll call it, in that area. Right. So okay. there was definitely something working. Let let's um, let's go to a different level. Let's go outside the liver and see if there's another area of your body that needs to be addressed. Okay. 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 Where is the most resistance within Gail's body, please? Where is the most resistance within Gail's body? Bear with me one minute while we find this. Mm -hmm. Where is the most resistance? Okay, we're going to have a look at your entire... Fi oh, hold on. Oh, there's moving again. All right. In the aura, where is the most resistance in Gail's aura? Okay, we're going to have a look at your soul. We do soul work like crazy here. The soul is a very crucial part of your being, and that's got to be nice and squeaky clean. Okay, now what is the problem within Gail's soul, please? Problem is, okay, there is a scar on the soul from scar on the soul from from are you claustrophobic no no okay what is the scar on the soul from the scar is from ah uh, here we go. Close encounter of okay. So so the ET that have been coming in and out of your body, doing experiments, whatever, uh, have put a scar on your soul. It's, it's caused a lot of problems. This has been happening through many lives. Okay, I'm seeing many lives here. Now, in Gail's soul, any and all scars, false. Gail's soul, scars false. Lift any and all scars off the soul. 
This is going to make you feel a little lighter, a little happier, a little bit more joyful. Yeah, I can feel a lifting. Awesome. Within the soul, all scars. Lift all scars. Scars are lifted. Now we're going to do this. Gail's soul. Reconnect to soul source. Gail's soul. Soul source true. Soul source true. Okay. Now your soul is reconnecting with source. It's kind of being coddled right now, let's say. Uh, a lot of people, I, I call it source. Some people would say God. Some people may say other types of deities. I like to use the word source. How is that feeling now, Gail? It's good. I'm getting um, a lot of tingling in various parts of my body, in my hands, in my head, my lips, you know, throughout my abdomen, my feet. So by reconnecting the soul to source, this is going to uh, uh, accommodate a lot of other healings through your body that, that are in need of, of that energy, okay? Mm-hmm. Now let's see if there's anything else we need to do. I, when I work on the soul, I don't want to leave it half done. We've got to finish the whole thing, otherwise it could lead into another problem. What is next for Gail, please? Okay, next is... Okay, both. Oh, here we go. Set and Thoth are within our... We're going to clear out some consciousness out of your soul. This is the consciousness of uh, the Egyptian gods, Seth and Thoth. Within Gale's soul, Seth and Thoth, false. Cut all cords and connections with Set and Thoth. Within Gale's soul and send them to Ether, please. Gale's soul, set and thoth, false. Okay, those son of a guns are now leaving. That will make you feel even lighter yet. What is next for Gale? And next is consciousness of consciousness of of high levels of scarring okay so we're getting a confirmation they're saying that the scarring is gone and okay so that is finished the soul is done good Thank you. Yeah. So now, by reconnecting the soul to source, a lot of things that get bottled up inside of you are now able to to leave. Okay. This mm-hmm. this connection is is very much. Um, uh, let's call it, we can call it a filter. We can call it a drain. We can call it something that's going to take care of all of these negative things that are piling up within your body on a daily basis. Uh, anybody who who suffers from chronic depression. There is a problem within the soul. This disconnects within the soul. You may be disconnected from your soul. Your soul may be disconnected to source. There could be some other uh, negative vibrations within the soul that need to be cleared out. But once everything is connected all back together, joy comes in. A person feels a lot happier as if something is now going to leave them alone. So uh, the soul is a very, very crucial area to work in, especially when it, when it comes to depression, anxiety, uh, any kind of feeling of lowness is all to do basically with the soul. Well, thank you. That well, was very interesting. There, there we go, Gail. You're good to go, my dear. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> You're so welcome. Have a better day. Yeah.